And this is my sister. Cut the chicken. Yo, check out Pink Sherbert. Dropping live in April. When in April? April 20th. Hi. William, you want to see your favorite thing on earth? Yourself? Look. Look. Who's that? You say, hey, William. Hey. I love you. <laughs> Sarah, hold your other braid out so we can see just how long they are. Most of all, let me see your mustache. Let me see your mustache. So, Sarah, why are we having an early Christmas today? I'm going to California for two weeks, and she's coming back the day after my birthday. She's going without me. Without me. Without me. Thanks to this one. Here, up. <laughs> We're not going to LA. Well, guys, doesn't it look like Ed Sheeran? <laughs> oh my god, I've never noticed that before. Hey, are you going to make a poll? <laughs> guys, does it's he look like Pink Sherbert? <laughs> no, there's only one Pink Sherbert. Back. Guys, does he I'm look so like Pink Sherbert? Please, leave it in the comments. Does he look like Ed Sheeran? Because the answer is now yes. Oh yeah, if I, if I had like red hair... Yeah. <laughs> I'd let him build me a Lego house. <laughs> this is what Sarita got. Raccoon slipper! Oh my lord. <laughs> I love that Williams is totally chilling. Like you're crazy. When I was rapping, I was like, does this look more like a panda? So thank God you think it does look like a raccoon. Raccoon. Sarah got me a moon lamp, which is actually hilarious because I was literally just looking at this on Amazon like two days ago. And then Sarah gets me this. This is everything. Pink sherbet's a unicorn. <laughs> I'm a unicorn. Not I know what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this for someone? April, I'm opening your gift. My favorite unicorn. Beaker, can you close the blind behind you? No. Can I open it? Yeah. Uh, that's that's three. Three. What was that? A cup, but an empty cup. Now I have better lighting for showing you as a unicorn. Do you like my hat? <laughs> Do I look cool? She's leaving. I'm so sad. <laughs> Have a good time, Sarita. Have a good time, Rob. I am not a fan of my hair today, guys. I apologize for whatever it's doing. But yeah. So if you guys couldn't tell from the rest of the clips today, um, we had a family Christmas party at my foster family's house. It was amazing. I showed you guys the gift that Sarah gave me. Becca told me that she forgot my gift at her house but told me what it was. Becca and I do the same thing every single year for Christmas, which is where, you know, she does all the subscription services like Ipsy, BoxyCharm, all that. Anything she doesn't use in them that she gets, she's like, oh, I'll never use this. She puts into a box and at Christmas gives me that box and she's like, this is yours. And I always just go through my makeup collection and I'm like, hey, I don't use this but this is what you're into this is yours. We do that because, you know, she has two kids. She'd rather, if I'm buying gifts, I buy it for her kids. I'd rather spend the money buying gifts for her kids. You guys have seen my nephew. You guys see William. Like, I'd rather spend money on him than on her, and she understands that. Like, I feel like when you get older and you, there's kids in the family, that's sort of what it turns into. But Becca and I have also always been that way. We're Literally, since we were little kids, we always just go through our stuff and we're like, I don't like this, you have it. And I don't like this, you have it. Like, the amount of shoes I've gotten from her, sweatshirts I've gotten from her, like, that's how me and her have always been. We just trade stuff, so that's not what we do for holidays and gift giving, too. And it's like, no shade, we're not being cheap, it's just our thing. And then Elaine and Dodo, my foster mom and dad, gave me an Ulta gift card, which was amazing. Because y'all know how I feel about Ulta. Um, I actually didn't bring over any of the Christmas gifts because I was waiting until Christmas itself to do that. You know, this family Christmas party sort of got sprung on me literally yesterday I found out about it. My cousin Jeff came into the bank where I work and is like, hey, like, are you going to the family party? And I'm like, oh, didn't even realize it's a family party. So I texted Becca and I'm like, hey, um, how did I not know about this? She's like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, like, come through. So <laughs> it all happened kind of last minute. Yeah. But then if you guys couldn't tell, Sarah and her boyfriend Rob left for California. I'm very happy for them. That's actually why we ended up doing this today. 
because Rob's family is from California, so they're spending Christmas with his family. I'm very happy for them. I'm very sad I'm not going, but I'm very happy for them. Originally, this trip was supposed to kind of be different dates, and I was supposed to be in LA, and Sarah was going to be in California, and it was going to be a completely different kind of thing, but it ends up being how it is. It's what worked out best with everything that's going on in our family and with her school and work schedule and all that fun stuff. So I'm very happy for them. I'm very sad I'm not going to California. They're not going to LA though. They are going to, I don't want to give like exact towns, but they're going to around where Coachella is. Like around Coachella area is a good way to put it. So they'll be in the general vicinity of where Coachella is. And I said to them, like, if you go to L.A., you need to FaceTime me. I'll tell you all my favorite spots in L.A. So I told Sarah she has to go to Toast because I've said it before and I'll say it again. That's the best latte I've had in my entire life was the vanilla latte at Toast. So I'm really pushing for them to go to Toast one of these days. Be like, go there, get brunch, have a latte, like, enjoy the best latte I've ever tasted. And Sarah's like, I'll FaceTime you when we're in LA. And I'm like, yes, please, I miss my city. She has not wanted to leave my side at all today since I got home. She just came and literally, I lay down in bed to watch some YouTube videos because I felt like watching them on my phone. And she just literally curled up on top of me and would not leave. And then I got up to finally film this clip and she lays down on the floor next to me. She's my little girl. She's very clingy, but I love her so much. All right, well guys, on that note, I am exhausted. I barely got any sleep last night. I actually overslept this morning and was almost late to work because I overslept. But yeah. So I am going to get some sleep and ow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Let's do something that's crazy. Let's do something we've never done. Let's do something amazing. Let's do something we really want because I don't care